welcome to solve this nice systems of equation. Yeah, let this be equation one and this be equation two. And from here, we are finding x and y. From equation one, we have x plus y equals to a. And here, taking x to this side, we can have y here equals to a minus x. Then we can substitute this now in equation 2, that is equation 2, which is x times y equals to 64. We now becomes x times 8 minus x now, which is equal to 64. Then here, let's open this bracket, which gives us 8x. Then minus x squared equals to 64. Then from here, we rearrange this and we still form a quadratic equation. Equation here, let's take everything to this side, to this side. Then here, minus will become plus. So we have x squared, then minus 8x, which become minus. Then here, is already plus, that's plus 64. Now equals to zero here. Then here we can solve this quadratic equation using the formula x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus four ac then over two a. And from here x equals to here a is one. B is minus 8 and C is 64. So that here we have X equals to minus minus 8 plus or minus square root of we have minus 8 square then minus 4 times 1 then 64 then all over 2 times 1. Then from here we have x now equals to this becomes 8 plus or minus square root of minus 8 square here that's 64 then minus here let's see write this as 4 then 64 then all over 2 then from here we have this can be written as x equals to 8 plus or minus square root of Let's factor 64 out here. This becomes 64 into bracket 1, then minus 4, then over 2. Then from here, when we have square root of a and b, you can separate your square root of a and square root of b. Then what this gives us now is x equals to 8 plus or minus 64 times root 1 minus 4, which is root 3, which is root minus 3. 1 minus 4 there is simply minus 3. Then over 2 from here. Then here become x equals to 8 plus or minus 264 here is 8 then we have root 3i is root 3 then root minus 3 that's root 3i from here then over 2 and which we can also separate as x equals to 8 over 2 plus or minus 8 root 3i over 2 then which give us x equals to 4 plus or minus 4 root 3 i then here we have two solutions for x here we have x equals to 4 plus 4 root 3 i or we have x equals to 4 minus 4 root 3 i then to get the corresponding value of y Using the relation y equals to 
is minus x. So if this is x1, this is x2. Now, y1 here will now give us 8 minus x1, and which is into bracket 4 plus 4 root 3 half. That is, here we have y1 now equals to 8 minus 4 minus 4 root 3 half, which gives us y1 to be equals to 8 minus 4, that's 4, then minus 4 root 3 half. So we have the first set of solution x1 comma y1 here. We give us x1 is 4 plus 4 root 3 half here, which is this. Then comma y1 is 4 minus 4 root 3 half. Then also on this side, we can equally get the y2 here using this same relation here so y2 now will be equal to 8 minus x2 which is 4 minus 4 root 3 i then here y2 now equals to 8 minus 4 then plus minus times minus as plus plus 4 root 3 i then y2 now give us 8 minus 4 so here is 4 plus 4 root 3 half. So that the second set of solution here, which is x2, comma y2, then become x2 we have 4 minus 4 root 3 half. Then we have y2 now, that's 4 plus 4 root 3 half. So here we have these two sets of solutions which are complex solutions to this given problem. So thank you for joining us. Here we have x1 here, same thing as the y2 here. Also y1 here, same thing as the x2 here. And uh, subscribe to my channel. Also give a thumbs up, share this video. And thank you. You have a comment. You can as well drop it in the comment section. Another way of solving this, you can put it there. And uh, see you next class. And bye for now.